Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about how to identify if a given key is present in dictionary or not. So what is dictionary? So dictionary is a data type in Python. We have already learned the concept of dictionary in our Python tutorial uh, playlist. So you can check that. I will provide the link in description. So basic theory about dictionary is we have the values in the format of key value pair. Before that, the dictionary is defined by the curly braces. So here you can see we have the curly braces like in the list we had the square brackets in the similar way dictionary had the curly braces and the values in the dictionary are in the form of key value pair so basically it means for every value the format is key value if you see this one so for this the key is one and the value is apple and they are separated by the colon so in this dictionary example i have three keys the keys are one two and 3 and the value for this key for key 1 the value is apple for key 2 the value is orange and for key 3 the value is mango so in this way the dictionary is defined here uh, also you can check the length of dictionary by using the length function let me show you that print len and then you can pass the variable name which is my dict so once i pass this you will get the length of dictionary so let me run this code so see we are getting here 3 why we are getting here 3 because the number of keys here are 3 like here you can see this is the first key means this is the entire one value here which are separated by the comma here you can see right so this is the second value and this is the third value so hence the length of dictionary is 3 also what you can do you can access any particular value with the help of a key like in the list we were using the concept of indexing where you want to find any particular value you were accessing it by the list position but here in dictionary you can access the value with the help of key let's say i want to access the orange value so key for orange is 2 so how i can access it i need to provide the variable name which is my dict and then in the square brackets i need to provide the key so key is 2 and it is of string type as it is passed inside this quotation marks right so here you can have 2 so my dict of 2 will be orange let me run this code so see we are getting here orange in similar fashion if my dict of 1 is provided then we will get apple and if my dict of 3 is provided then we will get mango so let's start the coding for program that we want to find whether a given key exists in dictionary or not so here we have the dictionary so we need to check whether if user enters one then we need to check whether that key is present in dictionary so in this case it will be correct because one is present but if user enters four then four is not present here so it should say the key is absent in the dictionary so let's uh, print the dictionary once we have the dictionary we can print it so print my dict which is our dictionary here after that we want to get the key from the user so let's have a variable name you can provide any variable name I am providing your key then we will accept the input from the user which will say please enter key to search in dictionary so here the user will enter the value of key to be searched in the dictionary once we get the value we will check in the dictionary so how to check we can check with the help of membership operator what are the membership operators there are two membership operators in and not in so in is used to check whether that particular element is present in the sequence or not your sequence is dictionary so let's provide the if case here sorry if condition so if this particular value which is key so if key in my dict my dict dot get keys sorry here we have keys function keys so what this my dict dot keys will get it will provide all the values of keys present uh, let me show you that instead of printing i will print here print my dict dot keys let me save this and cut this part 
so let's run this code so see we have first statement is printing the entire dictionary so we are getting here entire dictionary and here my dick dot keys so what it is doing it is just providing us all the keys available in the dictionary so here we have one two and three let me remove this so what we are going to do now we need to check whether this particular value entered by the user is present in this uh, sequence like one two three which are the available keys in the dictionary so if that value is present then we will print print key exist in dictionary we will print this message also we will print the key and value so let's say print key here we need to provide the key so whatever value we are getting here that we will print here key once we get that key and then we will again print the value and value and here we can print the value with the help of my dict key so once we get this after that we need to provide the else condition suppose if that key is not available inside my dict dot key sequence then we need to provide the message key does not exist so let's provide your print key does not exist let's save this code and run now so here we are getting our dictionary then please enter key to search in dictionary let's say i provide here 4 so as 4 is not present in the dictionary so let's see what output we are getting yes we are getting key does not exist now the condition is working fine else let's check the if condition is working correct or not so here i will provide let's say i want to search 2 so as 2 is present in the dictionary so what we are getting here key exist in dictionary also we are getting the key value which is to which was entered by user and then the value for that key which was orange let's run this code again so let's say this time i want to find the key 3 so in the in this case i have the value for key is 3 and value mango so in this way you can check whether the key exists in dictionary or not one more enhancement we can do in this code instead of hard coding these values here we can also accept these values from the user so let's do that so i what i will do i will remove this all the values from dictionary i will make it empty here so we have empty dictionary now after that we need to uh, get the size let's say what will be the size of dictionary so let's accept that first so input enter length of list and the length of sorry length of dictionary so length of dictionary so length of dictionary will be the number of keys available in the dictionary so once we get the size here after that we will apply here for loop to accept the key and value for that number of size so let's for i in range so here range will be of size so whatever user has entered the size that much iterations we want here so here we will accept the key and value so to accept the key and value let's say key is the variable name and here i will say input enter key enter key so once we get the key after that we will take the value so value you can provide any variable name i am just providing the value so it will be meaningful and then input enter value enter value so now we are accepting here key and values for that particular iteration and once we get the key and value we need to add this into our dictionary because it is empty currently right so here i will say my dict dot and here we have the function called update update and inside that you need to pass the values in the curly braces whatever values you are accepting here so for key we have using the variable key so we will say here key then separated by colon and then value so in this way for each iteration 
our key will get updated for that particular values then we will print that dictionary and again we know the flow we will accept the key to search and then check whether that key exists in our my dictionary dot keys or not so let's run the code now so enter length of dictionary let's say 4 so here we are getting the error what error we are getting here for i in range size yeah why we are getting here because string object cannot be interpreted as an integer because here we haven't provided it integer like we are accepting it directly so it will be by default in a uh, string type and here in the range we are passing the string so that is incorrect so here we need to restrict it to integer value so by reading the errors you should understand what a uh, mistake we have done in the code so let's run this code now so enter length of dictionary 4 so see after getting the size here in the form of integer we are getting the range function working correctly so we are getting a message enter key let's say key is 1 then let's enter the value for it let's say apple then again it will uh, iterate four times so second key two let's say mango third key orange and fourth key grapes so this is our dictionary now so here we are getting our dictionary which is in the same sequence as we have entered the values first apple second mango third orange fourth grapes so please enter key to search in dictionary let's say i want to search here three so three is present in the dictionary right and the value is orange so here we are getting key three and value as orange and also get the message key exist in dictionary let's run the code one more time to check the else condition also so enter length of dictionary two enter key apple second orange and now i will try to search four in the dictionary so as four is not present in the dictionary we are getting the message key does not exist so in this way you can uh, check how to identify whether a key exists in dictionary main thing here we have learnt is how to accept the values inside the dictionary from the user so this is the way main function here is update with the help of update you can accept the key and value the variables that you are accepting for the key and values and another thing you need to remember is the keys function which will provide all the keys available in your dictionary so that's it in this video we will cover another topics in next video thank you for watching